Um, here's the, the Mac Daddy, the thing that we're keeping and the thing that we try to find at shows. This is an 1884 Carson City Morgan dollar. And some might say, oh, you're adding a filter to this video. Not a chance. Hey guys, it's Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Not a fancy title for this one, but we got a really nice coin haul in this weekend. You're really gonna wanna see these awesome coins. Let's get this video started. So as a coin dealer, every single weekend, it's a goal really to find coins that you really like and then th them translate into sales for your customers. And so we, uh, which was pretty awesome over the weekend, we sold like, I think almost close to $7,000 in coins. And mainly that just has to do with uh, finding great coins for you guys, but also communicating to you that they're nice and there's something that might be collection worthy. And so uh, if you guys want to sell coins to us, 832-538-4122, that's my phone number. You can text me anytime with some photos. Um, and if you want to see these coins, they're on our website, acousticcollectibles.com. But like I said, very happy to show you these uh, coins. A lot of them are rare. Uh, Carson Cities, a few are from Fernando. Um, just a really nice bunch, but I hope you guys enjoy these coins. Also wanted to make one more announcement. We're uh, doing a big video on uh, Wednesday about CAC and also just about understanding for us a little bit more about barbers. Here's one of the boxes that we got from Trent just to, for you guys to look at and for us to send in for him. You know, we got this cool uh, Mercury dime here. Got a barber dime that's in a rattler. Just uh, a few kind of interesting coins for you to see. Um, you know, a nice uh, barber half there. It's just, uh, you know, he's really blessing us with a lot of opportunities to take a look at some coins with you guys. And maybe just brush up on some grading, brush up on some CAC kind of things while they're still closed until July 15th. But yeah, coin time. So here's the span of all the coins that we picked up this weekend. Um, a few are pretty expensive here. You get to see one that's an 81 cc in dimple, a 92 cc. We'll get to those in just a moment, but let me show you guys a few down here. Uh, it's the 93 cc Morgan Dollar rated VG8. This one ended up going pretty quickly on our website this weekend. Just a nice circulated dollar, and a lot of these, a lot of people are looking for these just because they're more affordable in the affordable range, you know, around 400 bucks. That's not too bad, especially for a a little bit of a tougher date Carson uh, City coin. Uh, another kind of tough date here is the 1903S graded VF20. A little bit more detail on this coin, kind of less distracting marks, and a little bit of a tougher date also, but definitely not a Carson. Kind of a few uh, bread and butter small little coins here, nothing too crazy. You know, a 14D in VG8 brown. I uh, try to pick these up when we can. Just a coin that gets really expensive really fast. And if we can get one in a lower gray with some decent details, that's always a win for us because you want to offer coins that everybody can pick up. And especially if they're interested in the Lincoln set, that one's a good starter coin. Here's an 1856 half dime, uh, the 1856-0 half dime. I bought this one because it was rather affordable and a lot of people like seated stuff. Now, I don't, you know, I don't think the coin's too crazy or interesting, but... I just try to get into it once in a while and try to buy some a little bit tougher seated stuff uh, occasionally. That's kind of what I really like, taking risks on three or $4,000 coins that are seated that have a little bit more of like a lower mintage or kind of a really nice eye appeal. That's what I aim for, but definitely a lot of value here. Got these two uh, cap die uh, CCs, the 79s. Are you guys enjoying today's video so far? If you are, please leave a like. Uh, your like goes much further than you know. It's just got to Scroll down a little bit, press that like button. It'll get to more people. Uh, comment your thoughts about these coins so far. Which one would you like for your collection, um, if you could? And subscribe. Uh, we are trying to reach 3,000 subscribers here soon, and we're excited you're a part of it. If you guys want to listen to an awesome podcast, we have a podcast we're working on, the Freedom Coin Show podcast. The newest episode will be in the, in the description below. This is the VF20, a little bit more detailed than the ANX one that's uh, underneath it. Just a nice wholesome coin, little soapbox for you guys to take a look at. Uh, do like this one a lot. I've been we've been buying a lot of CCs from our connection down here in Texas, and you know I think they've been selling pretty well just because they're affordable like these, or they're a little bit tougher, and 
a few of them are actually just really nice in terms of eye appeal. This is 79cc, the same, uh, you know, cap die. I don't actually think this one is a cap die because most of the time you're going to see this, the CC mint mark a little bit grainy here, but I don't really see any grain in this CC. So I think it's a normal one. I'm not too sure. Let me know what you guys think down below of that. Um, I just think it's a overall decent coin. That one moved pretty quick as well, just because it really f can fill a lot of holes in people's collections. Um, and uh, it's a really nice one. Here's a cool little uh, 84cc that's a dimple. If you take a look at just the feels on this coin, I mean, they're, very, they're immaculate. They're really beautiful. I do love the, just the eye appeal of many of these dollars that you're going to see here in just a moment. This one's just, I mean, just look at this one. And I'm going to show you guys one that we kept that's going to blow you guys away. You'll love that one. But nice little CC dollar there. Uh, 90O, which is a little bit tougher of uh, a, a proof-like type of coin to find. A lot of the, you know, common date 63 PLs are going to find 150 bucks, 125 bucks. But this one's a little bit more tough, and so that pricing is going to reflect that at 305. Just a, you know, nice wholesome coin. There is a distracting spot in the hair here, and a little bit of kind of goldish hue to it. I don't think that takes away from the coin too much. Kind of a tougher day here. I don't see these too often, especially in AU. But this one I bought because it just really has that I mean, state luster still beaming through the coin. And I know that it's an estimate, so that's kind of what happens with these. But, I mean, just a nice, stunning uh, AU coin. I do like it a lot. I think it's accurately graded. I don't think it would go up any more than this. Just so many surface, you know, kind of issues with it. And a few light scratches. But, I mean, uh, can't go wrong with a little bit more of a tougher date. And speaking of tougher dates, we have two 92 cc's here that we ended up buying together. I'll show you this one first because this is my, uh, you know, a little bit more of a lustrous one. Um, just take a look at the cartwheels on this on this beauty. Really nice. The cheek is pretty nice right here also. There's a few kind of coin rolls on the coin though. As you can see just right in front of the face, which kind of took away from its, its grade, sadly. But just a nice, stunning CC. Can't go wrong with something like this. It is a hefty little coin though, but I mean, just a tough date and a tough in MS. And so we like to take risks and open ourselves up to things like that just because we're trying to, you know, acquire a lot of clientele that want to make better CC, you know, things, and then they want to make work on better or lower end CCs. It just really depends on your collecting journey. Now, this is my favorite 92 CC out of the pair, just because when you flip over the coin, it has a really interesting end of roll type of look to it. I don't see many of these toned at all. No 92 CCs I've ever actually seen toned. And this one just has a little bit of that eye appeal that would separate it from different coins. And so that's something, like I said, that you can pick up on and then you can end up selling to your customers because they like that just a little bit of extra in there. 91 C, or I'm sorry, 81 CC, that's in dimple. Very tough. If this one was in a 64 grade, I think the value goes up two or three times, I'm pretty sure. I mean, just look at the mirrors on this coin and the cartwheels. Just, I mean, I love this coin a lot. Wish I can keep them all, but this one's definitely, uh, you know, something we can't keep. It's just a more expensive and tougher to find. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just a stellar piece of history. Last dimple here. This is um, an 1890. Another one that I, I don't see too much in dimple. It has really kind of a, it has some decent feels. Not as deep as the other ones that you've seen. But, I mean, just a nice, beautiful coin. And a lot of people like to buy these just because, it's just what you want a Morgan dollar to look like. Fresh off the mint yesterday with really nice eye appeal. And I think this one really did hit the mark. Uh, it might be, you know, it's just, I think it's a nice beauty. Uh, tougher date here, 96.0. You know, if you can buy some of these for under $100, that's something that we try to aim for. Uh, another thing that, you know, a lot of collectors try to aim, look at and buy. 92 and a 93 Columbia. Both tones similarly, surprisingly. You see, like, the toning around the rim here. Um... The fields are kind of grainy almost, but if you take a look at the 92, it's the same kind of way. A little bit of grain, a little bit of rim toning. This luster is a little bit nicer on this one, but I mean, some interesting coins that uh, those ended up, I think, flying the coop really soon just because a lot of them have been going up in value. And I think Price Guy puts them at such a low amount that eBay and all the other auction houses are really soaring above that, which is kind of interesting. Some kind of, you know, a little bit of common coins here, 1925 Stone Mountain and uh, this 32D Lincoln scent that's red in OGH. Nice little OGH with uh, 
just a little bit of a decent date, Lincoln Sun. Uh, we ended up buying two 2.1 NGC holders. I don't know if it's 2.1 or 2.2 2 .2 PCGS holders. My mistake. We bought the one that had uh, the certain number 4154388 and the one that had 390. This one's the 389. So we ended up finally buying this one because it basically is a consecutive cert from 88 to 90. Uh, this one didn't have as much eye appeal just because of the haze on the obverse, but they were all submitted at the same time. And I want to keep the set together for somebody that might want to buy it in the future. And so, pretty unique coin there. I like the I like the holder. Maybe it's going to go up in value one of these days. I'm not too sure. Um, here's the, the Mac Daddy, the thing that we're keeping and the thing that we try to find at shows. This is an 1884 Carson City Morgan dollar. And... Some might say, oh, you're adding a filter to this video. Not a chance. This is exactly what you're going to see in hand with this coin. You could see it from outer space. I think that's just how nice this coin is. And when we saw this coin in hand, it was, we were blown away, and we just couldn't pass it up. I mean, I could see my phone on this coin all the way from over here. I mean, it's just phenomenal. Phenomenal coin. Um, do you guys have a coin like this in your collection? If you guys do, let me know because... Man, you guys are lucky. You guys know, uh, you know, I think I would say 95 to 98% of CC dimples or any dimple, to, to be honest, just never looks like this. A lot of them are going to have a little bit more of a hazy field. But this one, I mean, sweet baby Jesus, this one is beautiful. But thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Uh, we're so thankful you guys are here to, you know, see your pickups, but also just hear from us. We'll cut it to the outro. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Uh, comment your thoughts, like I said, about these coins. Is there something that you'd want in your collection one day if you can't have it right now? And subscribe if you're new. We're uh, building a really great community with people that enjoy coins, enjoy grading, enjoy watching shows. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really good rest of our year, and we're excited to have it with you. But we will see you guys in the next video.